Hello Peachies! Welcome back to Dear Peachy! Having a good impression is more important than being born with beautiful facial features. When it comes to improving our visuals, the biggest misconception is that we assume facial details are the most crucial element to achieve that glow up. In our previous video, we have introduced the glow up blueprint pyramid that everyone should know before starting off their glow up journey. The fourth tier of the pyramid, the health level, forms the base for the levels above. Posture is found to be one of the important elements in this level. Looking good is not just all about your face. Your body carries your head. It is how the rest of you carries your face, and that is your body. A beautiful body is not just about weight. It is about how you hold it, and how it holds your head up. Besides the fact that good posture is important for your body, that also says a lot about who you are as a person. Your posture shows the world how you are feeling and your abilities. Think about the first thing that comes to mind when you think about communication. Chances are you are thinking of speaking or writing. Next to these two prominent channels of communication, much of it goes through body language and there for your posture. In our video today, we are going to talk about the common types of poor posture from head to toe and how to correct them. If you are struggling from bad postures and do not know how to fix them, please keep on watching. As usual, our video will be divided into several sections. Please refer to the timestamp for the following parts. As we all know, good postures affect our physical health. However, it can affect your appearance and self-confidence too. Take a look at this beautiful elderly lady here. Despite the busy crowd in the bus, her elegance has still caught our attention. There is something about her that we just can't take our eyes off her. This has shown us that a person with good posture will look extremely charming with their every move. But we know for sure that there are some people who would say that. You can still look good no matter what you do, as long as you're bestowed with a beautiful face. For example, in this photo of Irene from Red Velvet, she was hunching her back over, tilting her head forward, and crossing legs. But even so, many netizens still think that she looks amazing. It is too hard to resist from looking at her beautiful face. It is common to see celebrities with enviable facial features and body figures struggling from poor postures. Despite them being so striking, those drooping shoulders, protruding necks, hunchbacked frame, can make even the most attractive person look less attractive. If bad postures can affect the attractiveness of celebrities' appearances, what about ordinary people like us? It has extended another doubt from this topic. When it comes to defining one's attractiveness, which is more important, the facial visuals, or the body physique? There is one common Chinese saying which goes, beauty lies in the bones, not the skin. It implies that people who are born with a precise facial structure and proportion are generally the ones who are able to stun others with their appearances. The term bones here also refers to good body posture because it is one of the factors that shouldn't be overlooked. For example, in this picture, we can see that both women have relatively similar body frame, but the woman in white has less ideal posture and it has made her look less eye-catching when compared to the other woman in black dress. Although celebrities are often born with features that are more aligned with the current aesthetic, a poor posture can really affect their attractiveness perceived by others. Take for example, Yang Mi, a Chinese actress, is well known for her alluring eyes and delicate features. From these two pictures, a celebrity with poor posture versus a normal person with correct posture we can tell that posture can really bring noticeable differences in the impression of how a person carry themselves. Although we cannot admit that our eyes are glued to Irene's beautiful features, and it seems like her beauty might not be affected by poor posture, it's important to know that a person's attractiveness is not only decided by one's visual or body figure, but it is the air that is exuded by the person. So good posture is the strongest element that impacts the aura that a person exudes. A good posture can enhance the attractiveness of an ordinary looking person. However, even if you are born with the best features, bad posture can still weaken the real potential of one's beauty. Even celebrities with immortal looks cannot withstand the impact of bad posture on their overall appearance. After Young Mi has corrected the habit of leaning her neck forward, she looks absolutely more stunning than before. Hence, for ordinary people like us, the difference in how we carry ourselves has the greatest impact on our appearance and overall aura. An aura is the quality that makes you stand out from the crowd. Not only that, many of us do not realize that we tend to look older with bad postures. Look at the comparison of people with round shoulders and hunchbacks. Bad postures make us look tired and unfit. 
Even the best designer clothes can enhance your figure when you seem wary and infirm. Now, try to recall the last time when you bump into someone really attractive on the street. Do you notice how she walks, sits, or stands? Most people that we find beautiful at first glance, they generally have great posture. In conclusion, it can be seen that the posture is extremely crucial. It affects the perceived attractiveness of ordinary looking people like us. On the other hand, good posture can even help improve the overall appearance of good looking people like celebrities. Looking back at the Western beauties of the last century, these beautiful ladies pay great attention to their overall impression. Both men and women kept their heads held high and their waists up straight. With decent clothing, they can all seem like different people. Lean neck, square shoulders, and straight back instantly improve one's elegance. Having a beautiful lean and long neckline means that your head is held up, the shoulders are stretched and open, and there are no slumped shoulders. Poor habitual neck posture, such as the forward head posture is an extremely common postural deformity, affecting between 70 to 90% of the population. Forward head posture is sometimes called as scholar's neck, text neck, tech neck or reading neck. It refers to a posture where the head appears to be positioned in front of the body, playing with your mobile phone with your head down for a prolonged period of time, having a bad posture when standing and sitting, working for a long time in front of the computer, or reading a book with your head down for a long period of time. All of these can form the forward head posture. This can easily cause your trapezius muscles to become larger, thickening your upper back. It also causes a hump to develop on the back of your neck. Furthermore, this can result in severe neck and shoulder pain too. Although these muscle groups are usually trained to look larger in men, the thickening of the trapezius muscles can affect females' body proportions. The trapezius muscle can influence the head to shoulder ratio. An overworked trapezius muscle makes the region of our neck and shoulders thicken and eventually makes your head look bigger. How to know if you have forward head posture? You can ask help from your friends or family to perform this quick test. Take a picture of yourself from the sides when you are walking or doing any of your usual activities, observe the position of your ears, shoulder, and waist. If these three points are not positioned in a straight line when you stand up straight, or in your relaxed posture, chances are high that your head is leaning forward. Hunchback is also a posture problem faced by many. It is often caused by weak muscles in the back, which can easily occur due to incorrect sitting posture, such as slouching or hunching while sitting at a computer or in front of a TV, carrying heavy loads on your back like a backpack full of books. It is actually pretty straightforward to identify if one is affected by hunchback. This condition is characterized by the rounding of the upper spine into a C-shaped curvature. If you are unsure whether you are showing any symptoms of hunchback, you can try standing against the wall and looking at the distance between the most concave space behind the neck and the wall. Less than 3 to 5 cm is relatively mild. If you can do this effortlessly, it means that your hunchback issue is just a matter of poor habit. On the other hand, if you tilt your head up in order to keep it against the wall, it means that you might be facing with spine alignment issue. Keep in mind that you should seek professional medical advice if you develop any medical conditions. Next, the rounded shoulders. The term rounded shoulders is used to describe a resting shoulder position that has moved forward from the body's ideal alignment. Any activity that causes the body to look down and forward for long periods of time can contribute to slumped shoulders. These positions disrupt how the muscles in the neck, back, and shoulders normally function. By inadvertently training the body to be hunched forward over time, the muscles interpret the slumped position as the body's natural state. To tell if your shoulders are rounded forward, stand in a regular posture and let your arms hang by your side. If your thumbs are pointed in toward your body and your palms are facing backwards, it is likely you have rounded shoulders. The correct position is the thumbs should be pointed forward with the palms facing to the sides of the body. The pelvis is an important structure in the body as it is involved in almost all everyday movements, such as walking, running, jumping, squatting, and sitting. Pelvic tilt refers to the direction that the pelvis is tilted towards in relation to the body. The pelvic tilt problem commonly faced by the majority is anterior or posterior pelvic tilt. Anterior pelvic tilt occurs when the pelvis is tilted forward, and it is frequently seen in people who sit for prolonged periods of time or are inactive. Posterior pelvic tilt occurs when the pelvis is tilted backward. It is caused by poor hip and back strength, sleeping on your stomach, having bad posture, 
or sitting for too long can also contribute to posterior pelvic tilt as well. Poor postures stem from modern day habits like working in front of a computer, slouching on a couch while watching TV, or looking down at a smartphone. All of these are inseparable from every moves that we make, be it standing, walking, or sitting. All you need to do is be extra mindful to correct your posture and slowly replace the poor postures with the good ones. Let's start with the tips to work on postures that involve the shoulder and neck area. Many of us, including myself, has developed bad posture because we are shy about our bust size. We often slouch our shoulders so that our bust will be less obvious. In this day and age when some women are spending thousands of dollars to get surgical enhancements, or at least buying the most maximizer push-up bras they can find, it is time for us to stand tall and proud. Your shoulders will slump if you maintain such posture for an extended period of time. One of the easiest tips to overcome this is, always remember to keep your shoulders open. The anterior region of our elbow should position to point forward. When it is faced to the front, that is how you find yourself keeping your shoulders square and stretching open. When you walk, your elbow joint is rested at the sides of your waist. The anterior region of your elbow is positioned to face forward. The forearm swings slightly while you walk. Now, try walking a few steps in this way. Do you feel that your shoulders are straightened out? While in reality, we don't need to always walk like a supermodel. As long as we don't let the elbow swing too far beyond our waist, that will be sufficient for our everyday life. If you are able to maintain your shoulders from slouching, your posture will not be too bad when it is viewed from the front. Nonetheless, the poor habit of positioning your neck forward is what affects the appearance of our neck and back structure. If you too are struggling with the forward head posture issue, a good first step for you is to be aware of what is the proper alignment of every posture to keep your neck straight. Practice good posture if you sit at a desk for many hours at a computer. To have correct posture at work, you can use a good chair that supports your back or position your screen at eye level. The same things can be done if you are using your phone or reading. Sitting in the correct position is able to improve your posture too. Finding the correct position for sitting only requires a few simple steps. First, fold your body forward and place your bottom to the far back of the chair. Scoot yourself a little to the back to ensure that your bottom is touching the back of the chair. Sit up with your back straight and your shoulders back. In this way, your back will be fully supported by the chair and you will find yourself to be able to sit in this posture comfortably for longer hours. As we mentioned previously, using electronic gadgets with your head down for extended time and not paying attention to your shoulders posture will easily lead to hunchbacks and it will also affect your overall impression and the aura that you give. We are always told to keep our back straight to avoid slouching, but we never know the specifics for executing it. To stand straight, your head, torso and both legs should lie on the same axis when viewed from the front. When viewed from the side, your head, shoulders, pelvis, and ankles are aligned to one another. There are a few important details that you should look into. The center of gravity of the body should be concentrated at the center of your body, specifically on the big toes of both feet. The shoulder blades are lowered towards the center of the back, keeping your back tucked together. Keep your chest open. Contract your glutes slightly while keeping your back straight. Keep your knees side by side. Point your toes in the 12 o'clock or 1 and 11 o'clock direction. Besides working on your posture correction, exercise is extremely helpful in developing strength, flexibility, and balance in your body. It is commonly known that poor posture can weaken the supporting muscles, as they were not utilized properly. Exercises which strengthen the core, shoulders, and back muscles help us stay upright. Poor posture often results in muscle stiffness, and stretching exercise can help relax and increase the flexibility of our muscles. You can always Google different workout and stretching exercises to help you target the area you would like to train. We have talked so much about poor postures. I bet you all are trying to straighten up your back while watching us. But if you are the rare ones that never have problems in maintaining good posture all the time, we must congratulate you. We know how hard it is to break the bad habits of slouching. Now we all understand that elegance starts from posture. Other than fixing our poor posture habits, we can inject our personality into our moves to increase our confidence and to demonstrate style. So in the last part of our video, we are going to show you tips to help you look more graceful in your every move. Have you ever thought if we are walking correctly? It might sound funny, 
We have learned to walk since we were a year old and we have walked every single day. Once again, we are taking Irene as an example. Although netizens commented on her walk being funny, cute and sexy, we have all failed to see that walking in such a way can affect our muscles and spine health. Not only does it affect how we look, but overlooking this issue can also bring detrimental effects to our health in the long run. In fact, a little technique goes a long way to making your walks more graceful. Improving your walking posture will help you look and feel more confident, and you'll look slimmer before losing a single pound. One of the Korean celebrities who is known for her perfect posture is Seo Hyun from AOA. Every stride she makes just exudes charm and confidence, and she walks with so much of grace. If you want to know how to walk like Seo Hyun, we are breaking it down into an easy step-by-step -step guide for you. First, we need to raise one of our feet to take the first step. When your foot is raised, your legs form into a triangle shape like this. Imagine yourself walking on a straight line. You walk with keeping your knees close to each other. Then you kick the other leg out forward. Keep yourself walking on a straight line. Make sure that the gap between your knees is close to each other when it is viewed from the front. The reason we are doing this is because it makes you look slimmer and have a curvier body figure. Once you kick out your leg, put your foot in front of the other and place your foot to the ground. Ensure both legs are straightened. The front leg is extended while the hind leg is pinned firmly to the ground. Then, raise your leg and repeat the same steps again. If you're wearing heels, don't bend your knees while walking. Always walk from heel to toe. If you bend your knees, your body will lean forward, making your step smaller, which gives the impression of you being panicked or anxious. The same rule applies when you're wearing flats too. What about walking up the stairs? Keep your upper body upright. Step on the next staircase by focusing the weight on your toes. After the front foot is stepped on the staircase and completely straightened out, you can take the next step. Similarly, keep both knees close to each other while you walk. To walk down the stairs, don't lower your head to look at the stairs. Instead, lower your eyes to check on the placement of the steps. Make sure you keep your back straight and extend your leg that will land on the next stairwell. We have finally reached the end of our video today. Good posture is half of the work on your body glow up routine. It makes you look slimmer, taller, sharper, and more energetic. This glow up tip doesn't cost you a penny, but will certainly leave a great impact on how you look. An elegant posture is a simple yet powerful way to be more chic. The way you carry yourself affects how people respond to you and, at least as important, how you feel about yourself. Have you noted down which posture that you want to improve immediately? Tell us in the comments. We hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching. See you all in the next video. Goodbye.